Hello, my beautiful Virgos, and welcome to my channel or to my podcast on Spotify if you're listening to this in the audio version only. Brenda Tarot card readings with your general tarot and oracle card forecast for the week of October the 24th to the 30th, 2022. This is a general forecast. Take only what resonates with you and throw the rest out into the universe. Starting off, you have three interesting and compelling energy cards here. Oracle messages. Your first one is the blue moon. Believe in the impossible. You've got the card flexibility. And I love the graphics of the bamboo. We all know that bamboo has deep roots and it's it just can handle any kind of uh, disaster that comes its way. It doesn't even burn well. Uh, surrender to complete healing is your third card here. So you could be going through a situation here of healing um, and you might be feeling that things aren't going to work out in your favor with this blue moon. Well, open fully to the loving, compassionate forces of the universe that support you, your physical and emotional and spiritual healing. So be open to that. Know that you could be going through a process here with this blue moon that is actually sending you downloads of information that says it's time for you to take care of yourself. It's time for you to let go of things that, that are they're holding you back. It's time for you to purge and it's time for you to soothe and nurture yourself into this situation of complete healing. So realize your importance. Realize that it's, it is so imperative that you take care of your personal needs right now and believe that anything can happen. If you've received some news that you think is never going to work out, it's impossible. Believe in the impossible. Flexibility. You've got the flexibility card that says, you know, right now, <clears throat> this is all about being flexible in your life. And it cautions you to do that and be willing to bend and yield and to look at things from different angles and a different perspective and open your your mind and your heart to things that could be different than what you've been used to. There are times to stand strong, but there's also times to go around a situation rather than face it head on, going through a healing cycle here. You may not have the energy to want to do that, but this also suggests that there will be some change here and be open to that. It's a fantastic card for abundance and prosperity, and it suggests that if you are flexible, prosperity will and can come in many ways different ways and in many different areas of your life at this time. So, you know, this could be rapid growth that's coming in. So don't resist it. The time is right for this surge of spiritual growth that's coming in towards you. So it, believe in the impossible. Know that you're worthy of this and expect things to come in, even if they are different from what you really anticipate. Okay, coming in with your tarot meanings and your tarot reading here, you've got the four of swords and you have the five of the pardon me the nine of wands so i think you could have been struggling with a situation here that's left you feeling a little bit depleted of energy <clears throat> and you you but you fought a hard battle here this is a card that says standing up for yourself standing up for your convictions not rolling over not backing down no matter what the naysayers or the the, the doubters uh the people that doubt uh that your <clears throat> ability to go forward and succeed at what this goal is uh have not been it supporting you don't allow that negative energy to determine or dictate your happiness and your direction you want to go. Stand up for yourself. You've created something here and you deserve to protect it. You, it may be wearing you out though because the Four of Swords says take a step back, take a time out, take a breather, take care of yourself. Complete, you know, surrender to that complete healing here. Uh, you know, be flexible whereas you know that you know, doing too much can be a little taxing and stressful on yourself physically and emotionally. Going and calling a time out, taking time here uh, to, to take a breather, uh, stepping back so that you're not losing your sleep, so that you're running on all cylinders here to defend yourself, protect yourself and stand up for what you've created. The death card comes in with the eight of cups next. And this is telling me that there will be a new beginning, a rebirth, the ending and a new beginning, doors closing, new doors opening of opportunity, seeing your future with vision and promise now, uh, realizing that something had to end. It could be something as simple as the end of a work contract. Uh, maybe you, you completed a project. Uh, maybe 
you know, a relationship wore out its welcome wagon, its welcome mat, rather, uh, you know, anything can have a life expectancy, right? And that includes relationships around you. So this is saying you've got rebirth here. You have this ability to go forward and look at your future with vision. And it's a, it's a new beginning. So allow yourself to go forward on this next stage. Getting a second chance, beautiful. Now, you've got the Eight of Cups coming in with that. And it says... You know, often when we have to end something or something comes to a conclusion, going forward in a new direction can be a little daunting, can be a little fearful, uh, especially if you're uncertain about where this direction is going to go. You realize that something ended for a good reason here, though, with the Eight of Cups, that it wasn't a situation that you wanted to be in anymore. And now you've made this command decision, I'm going in a new one. And you're not going back to the old way things were. And this is beautiful, but it's going to take time. It's going to take balance. It's going to take uh, planning. So don't be afraid. Keep going in that direction because this ending and new beginning with the death card and rebirth card was inevitable and was meant to happen. And you need to grasp it and go forward. Keep moving forward. In the center position, you have the Hierophant and you have the Hangman. So, you know, this is always, I call it, the message and the blessing from the divine and the powers that be. Uh, what faith source you lean into. Uh, this can be get collaborating and getting together with people of like minds. Maybe you're going to be joining spiritualist people. Maybe you're going to be joining holistic healing. Uh, people like that. You're, you are building <clears throat> the strength by being surrounded by these people, these light beings. So you could be ascending, you could be evolving, you could be expanding, and there's definitely growth in a spiritual way for some of you. I do think this is a beautiful card. It is a number five on the Hierophant. We call that the card of challenges, but also the card that comes forth with resources to resolve issues, right? So leaning into higher self, the power of that. Some of you could be uh, getting involved in something that has to do with the church. Maybe you're being invited to a wedding or something as well, or the christening of a child that is, is in a church environment. <clears throat> now, moving on, you have the hangman. And the hangman comes in with this. It says you're in a sort of a, uh, you're, you could be between uh you know, they're telling me you're in between one world and the other here, trying to make up your mind. Do I go this way or do I go that way? Hanging in limbo. This is a time of pause, reflection, and recharging and rejuvenating your batteries here, your database, what it is you need to learn and know before you go forward towards this new beginning here. Uh, you know, stepping forward into a new, a new world here for some of you, a new journey here for some of you. But the hangman is a temporary card. You're not stuck there forever. It means once you receive all the data that you need, uh, you know, you've downloaded all of that information that you need to go towards this goal, you're going to hit the ground running. You'll have everything that you need to do that. So this is a temporary situation hanging here, waiting for something to happen. It's going slowly, but you are on a new journey here, going towards your goal that you want in this new journey. Now, the Ace of Wands comes in next with the High Priestess. And again, I had said with the Hangman, you know, getting together, you know, collaborating and getting what information you need. The High Priestess does that. She has that ability to walk between two worlds. If there's something going on in the background, she does her research she digs deep and she gets what she needs to find out. She trusts her intuition. She gets that feeling that she needs to know something, find something out, and she isn't going to rest until she gets it. I think that you will have this ability to do that. The high priestess sits there with her book of knowledge on her lap, and she's prepared now to go forward and create her happiness. So definitely stepping up into the power of that as well with the Ace of Wands. New, 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 beautiful beginnings and ideas are coming forth at this time for you. Being able to see a situation with clarity now, opening your third eye to these new opportunities about creative and inspiring things. And they could be things that could have to do with career possibilities coming in. Go for it. Don't be afraid to do this. You know, you could be starting your own business here. You're doing research here to get the information that you need. Uh, you could be getting a new job offer that could include a promotion for some of you. But it's always exciting news when we get the Ace of Wands. It's about moving forward. It's about opportunities. It's about taking action. This is a fresh start for some of you. It's beautiful. And this could be the journey that you're going on right now. Okay, coming in with your final cards here, you've got the Two of Wands and the Death card. Again, big, big message that there's going to be something ending and a new beginning here for you. Uh, definitely Virgo you're going in a new direction something has come to a closure and you know that door I just heard it slam shut uh, and, and you take your foot and you kick it 
okay the back of your foot but you're, you're not looking at the door this is a very strong message i'm getting here so you may have thought you were in an impossible situation here but now you're able to close the door on that chapter and you're starting something beautiful and new so i do think this was a blessing in disguise you're going in the right direction you're now going to be getting opportunities that you never thought you could get that or that you deserve uh, coming in with the two of wands is that uh you know watching for your ship to come in planning this journey you you may be planning uh, to go overseas or take a trip for pleasure or even business. This is a card that says you're not going alone. You're going to be with someone. This is a card of partner. Maybe you're going to partner up with someone in business or you're going to take your partner with you, a new partner, someone who wants to travel this distance, someone who has the same goals as you do, not giving up, not rolling over. The two, the two of Wands is an excellent card that comes in saying those things. So you're coming into your own right now, my beautiful Virgos. And, you know, this could be, you know, improvement in your career or your business is being right on track now. Keep going forward. No matter how discouraged you get, there could be some temporary situations here with the hangman. Um, but know that you're going in the right direction and it will be progress for you. you and again i think there's joint endeavors partnership here and know that negotiations with this partner or with someone else will go well so this is hope for the future some of you may be having to sign contracts or agreements right now but this is beautiful controlled progress in a brand new direction and beginning well pretty powerful i love this reading virgo i wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful optimistic week here to look forward to always know i stand in the circle of love and light for you and i'll see you soon